What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry if the lighting's a little weird, the sun's going down currently in front of me. So if there's like a <clears throat> like a shadow or like weird lighting, that's why. But I'm finally gonna be showing my entire haul for C2E2. I did show what I got in the videos themselves, like a little bit. <clears throat> but this is gonna be a recap of everything that I picked up. So hopefully you guys enjoy. And if you do wanna check out the other videos, go right ahead. They're right before this video. So I made it to Ohio and then we drove up through Indiana to Chicago and we stopped by Kokomo Toys, which is super cool. So the people at Kokomo Toys, man, thank you for uh, hooking us up with cool deals and everything. And so this is what I picked up from there. Yeah, before I show my haul. So on the way back on the plane, I didn't have enough space on my luggage for all my toys that I bought. So I shipped them to myself from Ohio. So I have everything. So from Kokomo Toys, uh, they had a bunch of Deadpool waves. So I picked up Deadpool. And then I picked up Domino as well. So I got them. And I got two more from the same wave. I got X-23 and uh, Grey Deadpool X-Force. So all I need now is um, Deathlock and Cable. So those are the only ones I need to complete the wave. And I'll be finished with that wave. And these were 20 a piece at Kokomo. So that's why I picked them up. They were, they were $20. So the retail is pretty good for me. And the big purchase that I had there was this Toy Biz Giant Man build a figure And uh, it's cool because the display video I had uploaded before I was out there. I was saying how I kind of needed this guy. And then I see it at Kokomo for a good price. So I finally picked this guy up, Toy Biz. <clears throat> Pretty cool condition and everything. So I'll show you guys an update uh, when I put him in my display and everything. This guy's awesome. Okay, and then after we left Kokomo, we uh, stopped by to eat at Portillo's. And by the Portillo's was the Toys R Us. And I ended up finding the uh, Scarlet Witch Vision 2 pack. So I picked this set up. Really wanted just the Vision, but the Scarlet Witch is nice too. The head sculpt is better than the one I have now. So I picked the set up. So I didn't think I was going to find this at my uh, TRU. So cool thing, I found it out there. Um, nice find. Since he is, well, I'll pick this one up. So let me show you guys what I picked up from Bluefin. Bluefin actually had a booth out there, which I didn't know. Had a bunch of deals and everything, so that was really cool. So let me show you guys what I picked up. Super happy that they had the Bluefin booth there because I picked up the uh, Goku Black figure. And I actually picked up two so I can have one displayed with the pink hair, rose hair, and then uh, the standard black. And I do want to get a couple more, maybe of the Dragon Stars figures, to have a cool little display going on with... Uh, Spoiler for uh, Dragon Ball Super. I'll, I'll put the time. It's not something. I'll, it's nothing big. I'll put the time if you want to skip. But uh, if you do, if you don't care about spoilers, remember when uh, Goku Black uh, did clones and stuff? So I want to have a couple clones. That would be pretty cool. Okay, we're back. Uh, it wasn't nothing major. If you guys want to watch that, but yeah, I picked up two. So let me show you guys. I have them out of the box. Yeah, this figure's super cool, man. I, I cannot wait to pick up some of the Dragon Stars figures as well. I really need some of those. The Zamos build a figure and everyone so I can't wait to pick some of those up here's a little close-up of black very very nice head sculpt and everything but yeah I love this figure man I can't wait to play with it I barely got my stuff in today yeah there's a Goku black awesome figure SHF so yeah that was one of my favorite pickups and also from the blue fin booth I picked up this uh, blue aura effect I have the yellow version but I wanted the blue one for the Super Saiyan blue so yeah, these were $10 at the booth, so that's why I picked this one up. Normally, I believe they're like 20 retail, so I picked up that one for $10. And then again at the Bluefin booth, I picked these stands up. There's three stands. I believe these were $10 as well. So I picked this one up. I should have gotten another one now that I think about it. I got these clear stands. But yeah, I got these clear stands. Maybe should have picked up a few more, but three is a good amount, so I'm happy about this pickup. And then I picked up another Marvel Legend out there. I finally picked up the Spider Punk. So I'm finally happy to add this guy to the Spider-Verse. And uh, I said $30, but I paid less than $30, thanks to Sensi. And I do need a lot of this wave. I still need most of it. I, in fact, I don't have any of it, but <clears throat> except Spider-Punk, so I'm really happy about this one. I played with it a little bit, so I can't wait to play with it a little bit more. Maybe do a little posing uh, video with it. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. And then I got another Marvel Legend. This was a gift from Nick Pryor. I actually met him out there. He came up to me with the Mr. Fantastic, and uh, I was, uh, and I'm very grateful that he gave me Mr. Fantastic to finally finish up my uh, Fantastic Four. So thank you very much, bro. Big shout out to you. 
And I believe that is my haul, except I did buy a model kit, uh, Future Trunks Time Machine, which my brother's building right now. Let's go check up on him. So guys, I was about to check out my brother, but he actually just finished it. Want to have a little cameo? <laughs> All right, but he finished the time machine, man. And uh, this is going to go with the SHF trunks. Check it out. So now I have the time machine for trunks. And this is awesome. So, yeah, this is one of the pickups. But, yeah, guys, that was my haul. Super fun trip, man. If you haven't checked out the vids, I'll check out everyone's vids. But uh, <clears throat> it was a really cool experience being out there in Chicago and Ohio and Indiana. It was cool. But I'm um, blessed. Made it back home. Got all my figures now at home. I'm sure going to be unboxing some of these later on. So yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. That was just a quick little haul. So hopefully you're having a great week. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel. Uh, what's up guys, before I end the video, I wanted to show you guys an update on my uh, collection, SH Figure Arts. My Dragon Ball Z collection. So this is the first detail for right here. I was uh, working on this yesterday, so I thought it came out pretty cool. I know you guys seen this one before though. I heard 17 right there. I switched the face on Android 17, like an angry face with the hair flopping. Um, there's the first Detolf, and then the second one right here with the newest dial I got. Oh wait, let me open this up real quick. So yeah, this is probably new. You guys haven't probably seen this unless you follow me on Instagram. Turn them into power, put hit up there. I think Vegeta looks sick right there. And then freeze all the way in the back. And then up here, I was playing with the new uh, aura effects. I got Vegeta up there. And then um, the blue Goku. Man, those effects look so awesome with the, with the figures. And then I have my uh, Broly. And then here, check out the Goku Black, brand new. To me, anyway. So awesome. And then uh, Goku... Uh, God Goku and then check out the time machine capsule corp time machine uh, model kit Should look super awesome It's pretty big too as you can see it's bigger than Broly so <clears throat> It's pretty uh, pretty awesome. So that's gonna be my uh, like a little update on my collection. I Do have the kid Goku, but he's still in the box. I have Yamcha and Nappa of Vegeta up there too as well but for the most part this is my collection right now and uh, I'll let my uh, past self end the video Take care, guys. Let me know if you guys want to see any posing videos, any display vids. I'll leave it down in the comments down below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Later, guys. That's crispy.